All right, everybody. Good morning on this April 25th, Monday. Okay, hopefully everybody is uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing and uh, following through. And, you know, what are we? We're, doing, we're about a third through the year right now. But we are very fortunate from the lovely state of Arizona from our Camelback office, right? Yeah, Camelback office. We have Mr. Charles Han Lowry. Charles, welcome to yep. the call, my man. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. All right, hold on one second, too, Charles. It just reminded me I got to do one other thing. Just give me one second here. Sure. All right, Charles, now you have to hit star six on your phone so you get unmuted. Hit star six, and then we can hear you. So that, is that good? Here you are. Okay. All right, Charles. All right, well, listen, let's start here. Let's do a little, uh, tell us a little about yourself, how long you've been doing this, all that good stuff, please. Yeah. So uh, I, I've been doing real estate actually since 1997 and uh, joined with the Buffini Coaching in the early 2000s. I don't remember, let's say 2003. Uh, mm -hmm. I took a break about seven years ago and was a stay-at-home dad for a couple of years and I think I've been back in real estate maybe five years full time. Uh, and I think I've been at Berkshire for three years now. Yeah, I think three years. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. And you finished number 52 out of, out of 1,100 agents last year. Congratulations, my man. That's a pretty awesome feat. And, uh, and so tell us a little bit about, you know, a little bit about, about like your production level and maybe, uh, some of the things you do to do that, my man. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I, 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 I like the booking system and they have, if yep. uh, it's coach and they coach to, for agents and lenders to work by referral and they have their own CRM system that our, uh, coach logs into and we, uh, we talk about, uh, doing phone calls, you know, proactive phone calls, following up with, uh, leads and past clients and staying in touch, building those relationships. Um, Buffini's big on the personal touch too, like sending out a personal note or stopping by their house to visit them. But it's really all just relationship building is what it is. And then, and then working by referral. Uh, and then yep. I feel like that I do, of course, coaching with Rick as well. I feel like it complements it really nicely because, uh, Rick, your, your style is, is a little bit different, which again, I think it comp they complement each other really well. And they, uh, together kind of builds up and builds me up and, uh, um, I think it's the best possible way. Yeah. All right. I love it. Yeah. You know, uh, the Buffini thing is referral only and which is great. Uh, you know, like they have, I mean, I love uh, his um, Brian's theory on uh, working with your sphere and so forth. And then I just like to bridge it out, even though I hear they've, they've been bridging out into a little bit more with the, you know, old expireds and, you know, around your listings and sales and, you know, yeah. maybe even a little door knocking. So a little bit more of the, un I like to mix a little of the uncomfortable with the comfortable, right. but you, but, I, but ultimately he's right. If you will work your sphere, um, you will do a tremendous amount of business, but you have to be in the business at least a little bit, a little bit of time to do that. So right. getting there is a different, is a different route sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, if, if you're working by referral, it takes years to build it up. Whereas I think Rick, your, your method you could be up and running in a month, you know, or two months and, and have a killer year your first year, you know. Um, that's why I like, I like both, I like the both and approach to it, to, to growing yeah. the business. Yeah. Me too, me too. I, I, I love the, uh, you know, I have Dick Crawford, you know Dick, right, in my, in my California. He, he uses the Brian Buffini method. We also have Delinda Crampton, you know, yep. Brian Buffini superstar, right here in, in, uh, right. in our office. Uh, she's great. She's been on my, on this uh, podcast and in my Facebook live, just like you have a couple of times too. And oh, yeah. she swears by Brian Buffini and, and I've seen him speak many, many times myself. I, you know, I like him. I like Tom Ferry. I like Mike Ferry. I like, I, you know, a, a lot of the old time guys too. You know, I like um, mm -hmm. Floyd Wickman and Tom, Tom Stump. I don't remember all those guys, but everybody had, like you just said, something good to tell you. And the great thing about my system is that I take the, you know, I call myself idea agnostic. I don't care where yeah. the idea comes from. If it works, I'm using it. And then eventually I take credit for it. No, I don't. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, 
All right. So, uh, give, so give us a get, tell them how you work your uh, sphere, and you can you know the Brian Buffini way. And I know you have your own twist to it too. But give them a little di- idea of how you do that, so you can uh, you know you finish number fifty two. What did you do last year in order to finish number fifty two? By the way, too. Uh, you mean like production numbers or just my activities? Yeah. Or, uh, well, both Pro- production numbers yeah. first, so they know about what you did, and then tell them the activities would be great. So my. I feel like I've never had a huge, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? The number of transactions closed. <clears throat> um, last year I only did 20. Uh, my goal for this year is uh, 27, I think. I'm, I'm trying to, to grow the number of transactions. Um, mm-hmm. But I have a decent average sales price, so it makes uh, <clears throat> my numbers for the year better. Last year right. I hit my goal at 9 million for the year, which um, it's funny. I mean, it was obvious. I, I guess I did good, but I was disappointed, you know? Um, and then the <laughs> funny thing is so far this year, I think it was last year I had some that didn't close in December and they carried through into January, February, but um, I'm already at 10 million so far this year and uh, 12 transactions closed. So yeah. So nice. even yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And you've raised your average sale price too. Uh, you know, because yeah. if you do the numbers last year, you're probably around 650. This year, you're right at not a million or close to it, like 900 to something, probably. Yeah. yeah. But I'm still working yeah. with everybody. I'll work with the first time buyers. It's funny, I'm, I'm diligently working to get the number of transactions up because I feel like that will serve me well in the long run. Uh, you know, I'd like to get to the point where I'm consistently doing uh, 35, 40 transactions a year consistently. And then and while maintaining the higher sales price too. That's, that's my ultimate dream goal there. Um, right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It, it, and that, that's such an accurate statement too, because if you focus on transactions, which, you know, you know, my math, if you focus on transactions, then you have to add the activities that go along with it that equal those results. And then all you have to do is monitor your daily schedule, right. or as I like to call it, your daily business plan to get there. Right. Right. Yeah. So awesome. So you've already, as far as millions, you've already surpassed last year. You're five right. transactions away, five closings away from surpassing, which obviously you have uh, mo- two thirds of the year ahead of you. So you're going to crush it, you know, and yeah. so that's awesome. So give an idea, like with your sphere, give them some, because I know you have some great things you do. Give them some ideas yeah. of things that you do with your sphere in order to maintain and, you know, so the, grow that business. So the- the funny thing I think, and the reason why I like Buffini is, is I'm naturally extroverted. I, I love people. I love getting to know people and getting to, and talking about what they do for work. And then of course it translates or transitions into what I do for work. And, and, and I think I just, it, I so genuinely love building relationships that it, it just works for me uh, at open houses. I can build a lifelong friendship or, you know, and, and I think maybe that's the other thing is, is if I meet someone at open house, I don't need to sell them a house in a month to stay in touch with them. I'm, I'm very comfortable selling their house three or four years from now and staying in touch with them the whole time. It's, I don't know. I guess I, I feel like I have a long-term plan. I'm going to need sales in three years. So I don't mind, you know, what do I have to do? Call them a couple times a year just to stay in touch. That's it. Uh, right. It, it's easy for me. It's very, very, it's a really good fit for me because, because I would do it anyways. It, it's it's stuff that I enjoy doing already. Right. Yeah. And part of the reason that I'm having such a great year this year is the work that I did two years ago. You know, and right. It, it's paying now. Yeah. In fact, I have four, I think four closings this year that are from an open house two and a half years ago. I can directly go back to when that open house was, when I met them. Um, and they didn't buy that house. They didn't do anything until now. And I have four transactions this year from them. That's awesome. And how do you keep in touch with them? Give, give them an idea. So, so you met them two years ago at an open house. What, what happened next? Uh, I put their information into the Buffini CRM. Because that's, the one, that's the one that I use. And the Buffini CRM has uh, a method for, it's like a grade, like your school, A, B, C, D, F, you know, type thing. The A is, of course, being yep. the best one. And then it has reminders that come up on your on your CRM. You log into the CRM, 
and it'll it'll have you call in the A's, for example, every six weeks or something. The B's you call every eight weeks, you know. Um, the C's it's okay twice a year or something. Uh, yeah, and then you just kind of it, it makes it easy that way. You don't have to think about it too much. It's just saying, hey Charles, you know, you have these great clients and you haven't talked to them in a couple months. Make sure you give them a call this week, you know, that type of thing. And, and then you don't have right. to think about it then. Yeah. It just automatically happens. And all and your and notes like, are in there too, right? What's that? And all your notes are in there too with them? Oh yeah. 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 Especially now so uh my my husband Scotty got a license a year and a half ago. I started working with me. And he jumps on, we share the CRM and he jumps on it. And sometimes he doesn't know who the people are. But in the notes section, it'll say, oh, you met this person at a conference in New York three years ago. Uh, right. There's a little bit about the family. And <clears throat> yeah, and then Scotty can pick up the phone and call him and inter- just to introduce himself and say that he started working with me and, uh, and wanted to get to know them or something. And, and he knows a little bit of the backstory. And he's not afraid at all to do that, too. He'll call complete strangers and uh, and have that conversation. He's very comfortable with it. <laughs> yeah, he's a little extroverted too. <laughs> he makes me look like an introvert. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I was just going to say that. It's funny you say that. I was just going to say that. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, so um, all right, awesome. That's great, great stuff. And uh, I think everybody, uh, you know, and for those of you that uh, aren't in Brian Buffini, you obviously um, you have a great VAC 2.0. You could do almost the same thing with it. Uh, and I would recommend even with you, Charles, and I think you do use it anyway, uh, sending them up on the, uh, you know, the, the neighborhood reports and the newsletters and all that uh, stuff. I think that is that something oh, Scotty did. Uh, I don't know if he did yet, but uh, it's something that I know he he's always looking into. Uh, yeah. I put all of my Buffini CRM on the PC, and uh, yeah. it, it's just a matter of finding the time to, to do it all. Uh, there's, yeah. there's a lot, you know, <laughs> there's a lot to do, but yes, yeah. uh, Buffini does send out, it's not as good, I don't think, but um, we do, once a month, we do a paper mailer, and and once a month, we do an email, so like at the first of the month, the paper goes out, the 15th, the email goes out to the whole database, right. uh, not the whole, the, the paper one only goes to the A's and B's, the right. email goes to everyone. yeah, right. we try not to bump those once a month. But the, yeah, last time I spoke, spoke with him, I think he was using it, having them in there, and just and he was partial the way through setting them up, which is a great idea because yeah. uh, you you can use that you can use the email part of the uh, Brian McFeeney system with with the stuff that we have because that neighborhood report, I'm telling you something, yeah. that neighborhood report is slick, it looks good, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. All right, cool. So, uh, anything? Any? So, that's how you deal with your sphere. Do you do any pop buys, or you do everything by oh, phone yeah. and mail? Yeah. Okay, you do. Okay, tell us about that. It's, it's yes, and then in the same way, Buffini has that that system for staying in touch with your top people, and uh, it's just funny because we do it anyways. We just do it naturally. We enjoy we enjoy seeing all the people, Scotty and I, and mm-hmm. and we'll go together. We'll split it up. Uh, yeah, but we, we love to go see people, but the whole point of the Buffini Popeye is you're supposed to bring a little gift, uh, nothing too terribly expensive, just a little something simple to, to say, Hey, remember, you know, I'm always here for any of your real estate needs, or if you hear of anybody who's thinking about selling the home or buying a home, you know, I'm here to help them with that as well. You know, any of your referrals. Yeah. It's another way to okay, touch so, your mind. Yeah. So I have to ask you. Uh, at the beginning yeah. of barbecue season, it's coming up. Do you bring them the catch, ketchup, mustard, and relish one? Do you do that one? That's funny. I haven't done that one yet, although <laughs> I know Buffini has a whole part of their website dedicated to ideas for these Popeyes, and you can put a Popeye tag on it. And they even have the tags for it. You can just print them off and uh, yeah. say things like, I relish your referrals, you know. <laughs> right. And you, <laughs> you're looking well, for an agent who cuts the mustard or something like right. that. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So, yeah. so the the script goes because I remember it because I remember reading it because I like when, when you add humor to it. Obviously, um, I stop by to catch up. There's the catch up on the market. I relish your referrals. Oh, there's the relish. And when you need yeah. an agent that cuts the mustard, I'm your guy or gal. So yeah. I, I think yeah. that's great. And I know, like Dick, Dick actually buys a special um, 
you know, like he buys the big bottles. He only does ketchup. He doesn't do the mustard relish. And he actually has a, a label he tape, which is probably illegal, but he does it. But it ta- and he just sticks it right on top of the label, uh, the, the ones you buy at Costco. So he has his face on it, and he drops those off to his A clients. <laughs> I think it's great. That's awesome. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So you do do the Popeyes, and you, and you, you bring by something of value and so forth, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about other sources? So that's how you work your sphere. Well, before I do that, mm-hmm. anything else you want to mention about sphere and repeat and referral business? Uh, nothing comes to mind. It's just, uh, it is pretty much, I think, what it sounds like. The only, you know, it's staying in touch with people and building relationships. The, the buffini, they just, they systemize it to make sure that you right. don't uh, accidentally overlook someone. Because sometimes we'll get busy and we might have a client that we love and we love staying in touch with them. And then we get sidetracked and then they won't feel the love, if that makes sense. You know, they'll, they'll think we forgot right. about them. So, yeah. And you don't want anybody forgetting about you guys. No, 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 no. You got to stay top of mind because in the heat of the moment, it's whoever's top of mind that's who's going to get the business. Okay. All right, cool. Now, all right, what other sources? The, the, any other sources? So you say, it sounds like you've got your repeat referral wrapped up and you know exactly what you're doing there. Do you work any yep. others? Go ahead. I, I love the open houses. I know it's not, a lot of people hate open house, but I love open house because you're face to face with them. You have that opportunity to build a, a relationship right there, and then and then if you stay in touch, you can nurture it and grow it. And that that's my favorite other source. I've done door knocking, and and it works. Uh, I've gotten business out of it, but uh, mm-hmm. I think I'm I'm at a place now where I have enough business that that's not the best use of my time. I think if you're a brand mm-hmm. new agent start. Oh, that's a great thing to do because you you know you can really you can pick up a lot of business that way. I think it's important right. to stay in touch. Though. You know, I, I, we have a you know Christian in our office. He's door knocked on thousands and thousands of doors, but he never follows up. And I'm like, right. ah, you're you're missing like a vital part of it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He's in my coaching. I know exactly what you're talking about. But now he's gone through a little run. And he's got a couple of deals in, but you're right. Yeah. If he kept track and followed up, it's amazing to me as a coach, I've been doing this for a long time, Oh, you know, 26 years now. And it's amazing to me that it's usually one or the other. Usually somebody is really good at making initial contacts and they just bang it out. And then you have yeah. other people that are just semi stalker about their lead follow-up. But every now and then yeah. you have a super rock star like yourself that's good at both. And if you're good at both, wow, sky's the limit. Yeah. I agree. Absolutely. So walk us through an open house. Um, you guys get out there and invite the neighbors. Do you mail the neighbors? What do you do with this? Nope. That goes? I have, that is next level for me. <laughs> I've never been good about that. <laughs> yeah. I, I know it's hugely important. I really do. I, I think it's phenomenal. I haven't done that. I haven't done, I guess, an open house properly, you know, the way you're thinking of it uh, ever. Mm-hmm. I, I, uh, you know, the, the, do the pre-advertising, which comes along with our, our local MLS. Um, it it mm-hmm. distributes all over the, the uh, you know, we call it the internet. And uh, right. and their base notice. And then, of course, lots of signage. And then, like I said, from there, it's, and then it, obviously you need a sign-in sheet or else you won't get the information you need to stay in touch. Uh, right. And then, and then, then following up with the people. And that's what I'm doing this week is following up with everyone from, uh, over the weekend, I did an open house Saturday and Sunday, and and now it's my job to, to you know, for the best ones that I had the best relationship with, to try to nurture it and see if it goes anywhere. Okay, so let's use this weekend as an example. So you had Saturday and Sunday. How many people would you say, or parties showed up uh, be- between both days? I had about twenty five walk in people. Three, four. I've got it right here. Okay. Uh, and I only had about seven realtors actually. Now this one, uh, I, it's overpriced. It is a little bit overpriced. So uh, right. that's probably why I didn't have many realtors. Yeah. Um, but right. of the so you had, so, the twenty-five or so. Yep. Probably mm-hmm. half of them are neighbors, the nosy neighbors. Right. And they're the easiest ones to stay in touch with. 
You know, there mm-hmm. is it's there's no sales pressure there. It really is just relationship building. Right, because you'll get them in the future if they decide to sell. If you yep. start staying in touch with them now, right? Yep. 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 Great. So, okay, so let's just forget about the realtors. You had 25 people show up. Did you get all their information? Did you get most? I mean, like, did you get 100% of the people to sign in or 90%? <laughs> uh, I got 100% except for one guy who was a jackass about it. <laughs> he, like, <laughs> he was awful. And he, and he basically ran out of the house. Uh, you know, like, but, but I told him, and in this case, it actually is true. The owners of the home said, Charles, we insist that everybody who wants to tour the home has to sign in. They, they had, that was my instructions as the listing agent. I had, so I had to follow it, you know. But uh, even if right. without that, I would still ask for it. Now, not everybody's going to give you their, their phone number and email yeah. and all that stuff. Um, I would say most do, just glancing yeah. through the list. Yeah, I'm, uh, most do. Some give you, like, I'm pretty sure Daffy Duck, didn't yep. come to one of my open houses, but somebody signed in as Daffy Duck. So I was like, oh, interesting. Yep. But, uh, you know, you never know. But you still going through. The, and it's funny how um, I had one. I had a couple people in my career do that, too, where they just they left. Oh, I'm not going to sign in. To me, if you're not going to sign in, you're not interested in buying. Because people that are buying. But you're right. Because you have an obligation to the owner. Then an owner lives there. That's exactly the line I used to use, too. It's not my house. I need everybody to sign yep. in. And especially since COVID. It's really, yeah. to me, it's even easier because people are used to signing in now because of our contact tracing and all that stuff, too. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. So, okay, so now you've got a whole bunch of people to follow up on. So you're going to start today. Tell us a little about that. What do you do? Oh, I'm just going to – I like the phone call ones better. But, or, you know, and I can do a, an email. Um, I'm thinking of actually just doing an easy thing. It's just a form, like a standard – template kind of email of looking for feedback from mm-hmm. the weekend. Um, I'm actually thinking that's what I'll probably do first and then follow up with a phone call. I'm um, thinking about it. Okay. Because then I send it to everybody, whether or not it was a realtor or just a regular person. Um, yeah. And just ask them to right, cool. just reply um, feedback on the what they thought of the property. Um, see how and many you'll do that and do that and, and you'll end up keep keeping some, working with some and the rest are just cut loose. Right. Right. And then I have phone numbers, All right, cool. too. You know, let's call up. Yeah. Call up later. I'll call up some. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. I didn't even ask them for emails. I just wanted their phone numbers. If they left an email, great. I didn't care because I was going to – I like to use the phone the most. You know, and I know that email works. It definitely does. So does social media. Right. Okay, so you tell us now is my favorite part of the call is, okay, so somebody to be a top producer like yourself, you know, uh, what are the three most important things you tell them to focus on? For, um, like like what a new agent you mean or well any or any who? of any agent like if if you if you were to take I, your business and give us the three yeah. most important things what would they be consistency is probably one of the biggest ones you have to be consistent and, and sometimes it's hard like this spring I've been so busy I was working all day every day if you don't keep doing the the proactive activity like I mean I was so busy I I couldn't even handle more business for a couple months, but I still had to go out and look for a business. It felt weird because I didn't really want more business. You know, I couldn't handle it, but you have to because you're planting the seeds for down the road. It wasn't business for right, right. now. It's for business. over the summer where I'll need it. You know, it's great that I've had a great start to the year, but if it fizzles out the rest of the year, uh, you know, that doesn't feel so good. So I think consistency as much as you can, even if all you can do is a third of your what you're normally doing, Anything, anything at all is going to, you know, keep it going. Uh, consistency. Yeah. A lot of realtors I've seen, so I've been 25 years in this, it shocks me all the time when I run into realtors who have been doing it for 10 years, 20 years or longer, and they don't have a database. They don't have a list of phone mm-hmm. numbers and emails. And, uh, so I'd say, was that good record keeping, I guess, you know? And like uh, you said okay, about so the first. Notes, yeah, we'll do the yeah. the first one would be consistency in your proactive activities, even when you're right. busy. Second one, you're talking yeah. about a detailed CRM, which is really good too. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Detailed CRM. Take good notes. Keep loading it up every day. Yeah, I, yeah. I tell them all the time. You got 
if you don't if you don't put at least three to five names a week into your CRM, you're not trying hard enough. I yeah. I used to put three to five a day. That was my thing. I loved love. It's just it, it's like putting money in the bank, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there it is. Yeah. I mean, it, like like you need business in the future. Everybody wants business right, right now, but. You're going to need it in the summer, the fall. You're going to need it next year. You're going to need it in five years. And, uh, right. and I, I, yeah, it, it pays off. In the long run, it'll just keep growing on itself. Yeah. All right, cool. So, okay, so give us one more, my man. I, it, it's, um, I'm not sure of what the, the actual the word is, but uh, to stay positive, I guess, and, and uh, you know, to – Positive attitude. It gets, yeah, it gets scary and some, basically to not give up. Persistence, is that it? Um, yes. You know, Be persistent. I love that. You can go months without a sale, and it is it can be terrifying, and you want to give up. Uh, but if you just stick with it and you keep doing the things that you're supposed to do, it just it just happens. It, it does. Right. You know, and uh, there's things you can do to speed it up. Uh, but it, it just takes time. It really does, I think. You know, and there's always the exception. I think there's the Rick Farabies out there who, you know, might, you know, three months later close ten deals already or something. You know, but I think that's the exception. Uh, You're like that's, I don't know. I think most new agents kind of struggle to get going. And they do. but if you stick, it pays off. Yeah. Well, it's, it's starting a business. You're starting a business. It's not supposed to be easy. Yeah. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. It's intentionally hard at first to challenge you to see if you're worthy of the results you're going to get eventually. Yep. 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 All right, my man. Right. Well, Charles, listen, yep. I just want to say thank yep. you very much, my man. It's a pleasure working with you as always. Thank you very much for taking 30 minutes out of your morning. Any final words you want to leave these lo- lo- lovely people? <laughs> uh, just because I think stay positive, work hard, and uh, – yeah, and just believe. Believe it'll happen, and it will. Just stay positive. Believe and, and to achieve. Work. Yep. Yep. All right, my man. Well, thank you very much, right. Charles. You're the best. Keep it rocking. Say hi to Scotty to me, too. And everybody else will do this again in a week. Thanks, everybody. Woo! All right. Thank you, Charles. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.